guys, so my name's Phil. Um, I run the channel Phil is Super, and today we're going to be talking about why it absolutely sucks to be a car guy. Starting off, let me just preface this by saying that I do not regret ever being into cars. I don't regret it at all, and it's been an awesome journey. It's been great, but there are definitely some things that absolutely suck for about being a car guy. First off, let's just go hit the elephant in the room, and first off is cost. So I want to show you guys something really quickly. So behind me, I have an engine in these boxes, miscellaneous parts. And then I got my car sitting over here, and I'm slowly working on an engine swap. And so, it's been great, but the cost has been over $4,000 so far, and I'm not even close to finishing. The engine isn't even in the car, so it's a very expensive process. And when I totaled it up, so I got my car for $2,000, and I've spent over $10,000 total on my car. So, yeah, it just adds up really quickly just to get what you're kind of going for. So it's a really expensive hobby. That's probably the biggest part that sucks about it. Uh, second part is just the fact that is working on cars and it's not as much even not knowing what to do because that's kind of the fun part of learning. The part that sucks though is when you're trying to work on your car and you have to spend months before being able to drive your car again. So what I'm talking about is again in reference to my car, I haven't driven my car for over four months and I miss it a lot and that part really sucks and a lot of my friends kind of know that I really want my car back and it's been bugging me. but. That part really sucks. Um, another thing is the fact that um, your project car is never done. So this kind of goes with spending money along with uh, just being able to drive your car, but you're never going to be satisfied with your car. You'll love your car, but there's always going to be something else that's going to do it. So it's really hard to come to this point where it's going to be like, all right, that's enough. The car is complete. So that part's tough, never getting that full 100% satisfaction of um, it's completely done. Another thing that sucks, and this one is a little bit controversial, but Honestly, half of the community really isn't that great, um, especially for me where I'm with with a Japanese car. Now to its credit, there are a lot of good guys out there and I, I'll change this by saying that the majority of people out there are, are really awesome in the community. I've gotten so much support. I've come in and I really knew nothing about cars when I first started and it's all been a learning process, but it's been so easy. I've just been able to ask people and they're so kind and they've been, help, been able to help me out quite a bit. But as you can expect, there are the flip side of those, the keyboard warriors, the ones you see a lot that uh, just want to go out and hate on everyone's build. You see it a lot on Instagram and a lot of YouTube. Just look in the comment section and you don't have to scroll far on any like decently big size page. On any decently big size page in order to see people starting to hate on the build. They don't like the color, they don't like the wheels they chose, they don't like the wing, they're getting mad that someone looked first, getting mad that someone went engine mods first. It, for whatever reason, someone's always going to get mad. That part really sucks. And then there's other times where you'll ask for help and someone will just say, oh, you're an idiot. This is so easy to do. How do you not know what this is? Or probably my least favorite out of all these is when there is, it happens all the time with young people in the car community. They're going and they're trying to find answers, like what I just mentioned, or they say they know something and they'll say something incorrectly and they don't know that they're wrong. But every single person or a lot of people I've seen will jump on them. Um, and just be like, oh, you're an idiot. How do you even like cars? How do you call yourself a car enthusiast if you don't even know this? Well, that kind of stuff just like really bugs me. And that's what I absolutely hate about the car scene. So another thing I don't like is the takeovers. So you guys may have seen those videos of people doing donuts um, at car meets and just like taking over a street. And honestly, I don't like that kind of stuff. First off, is a lot of the times it's technically illegal. And I mean, I'm against breaking the law because yeah, I mean, I, I totally get how fun it is. and. It's great to go and mess your, like, dink around with your car and have a good time. But when you're doing it on someone else's property and then when the police come and you're the one who's doing wrong but you get mad at the police for interrupting your fun, then that really, that doesn't look good for the car community. And you're hurting others who are just trying to have, enjoy building the cars, who enjoy the process of daily driving the cars but not the people who want to go out and uh, go mess around in like parking lots and stuff. So that really bugs me. It's one of the things. Um, I'm just not a fan of it, so you'll never catch me at a meet doing a burnout or anything like that. And if you try to get me to spin tires, I'm probably just going to laugh at you and just keep driving. But yeah, that's that. Another thing that comes up quite a lot, and I'm sure the majority of you guys who are watching this video, if not all of you, can agree with me, but it is, as much as we don't want to admit it, it's quite a big inconvenience driving your project car. Not for the fact that you don't have time to build it, but the fact that a lot of times the cars are very low and very loud. And yes, it's awesome when you get to show up to a meet and you have one of the lowest cars there and your car is loud and sounds amazing. That feeling um, trumps all the other times. But it does, it can get a bit on your nerves daily driving and having to learn how to snake a road and just having to take turns slowly 
and driveway is super slow and at an angle and it'll be a bit just tiresome and just annoying when you're trying to just drive daily like you're trying to go somewhere and you're taking your car and you have to do it so that, that can be a bit annoying but in the end it still pays off to I'd, I'd rather have a low car than a high car so that's just that's me I'm sure a lot of you can agree but yeah so there are some of the things that I absolutely do not like about the car community or being a car person in general. Feel free to leave your ideas what you don't like about the community down below or what you don't like about being a car person down below. Go ahead and leave those there. I will make another video on everything that I do like about the car community just so you know I'm not completely hating on it. But anyway, that's it. If you want to see updates on my car, I do post quite a lot on Instagram. My tag is at Super. I probably did that backwards now that I think about it. But anyway, my tag is at Super. I post updates every few days there. Um, you're gonna get a lot more updates there or sooner than when I post them um, here on YouTube. But if you are new, thank you for watching. And I am doing a process on my 1JZ swap. So far, I've taken the motor out. Um, I'm waiting on a new clutch flywheel pressure plate so I can put my transmission on and get the car back in. So that's what I'm waiting on right now. But I have other things to do in the meantime. So if you wanna see the build on my Supra, um, then go ahead and continue to watch. Subscribe, I'd love it if you could do that. All right guys, don't forget to do the usual though. Dislike, unsubscribe, leave your hate in the comments guys. Bye.